Welcome to another strange obscure story. Today, we're exploring the mysterious and fascinating world of rennes le chateau a small village in southern France. The ancient village has captured the imaginations of treasure hunters, conspiracy theorists, and historians for decades. Surrounded by the Cévennes Mountains to the northeast, and the Pyrenees to the south, the region is known for its stunning scenery, verdant valleys, river canyons, rocky limestone plateaus, and networks of underground caves and tunnels. The village of rennes le chateau is home to a church dedicated to St. Mary Magdalene, which has a long and storied history. The Church of Mary Magdalene is filled with strange sculptures, art, inscriptions, and talismans. The earliest known church on the site may date back to the 8th century, but by the 10th or 11th century, it was in ruins, and another church was built over top of it. This second church was in poor repair until the 19th century when it was renovated by the local priest, Berenger Saunier. It may have been during this renovation that Saunier made a shocking discovery. A series of strange documents hidden in the church containing coded messages and symbols. These documents may have sparked Saunier's quest for a hidden treasure. Over 10 years between 1887 and 1897, Saunier's renovation of the church, including work on the presbytery and cemetery, cost 11,605 francs. That figure would be equivalent to approximately 4.5 million euros in today's currency. How did this humble priest pay for it all? According to legend, the church was built on or near the site of a hidden cave tunnel leading to a treasure of immense value. This cave has been linked to various historical figures and events, including the Knights Templar, the Holy Grail, and the Merovingian dynasty. Some theorists believe a painting by Nicolas Poussin from 1637, titled, Et in Arcadia Ago, which translates into, Even in Arcadia, there am I, provides clues to the location of the treasure. This painting, depicting a group of shepherds standing in a pastoral landscape around a tomb, may depict symbols and clues that point to its location. Theorists maintain that the cave is located somewhere in the surrounding hills, and Saunier had solved its whereabouts, ultimately making him one of the wealthiest men in the region. The most famous theories about the treasure at rennes le chateau come from the book, The Holy Blood and the Holy Grail, which suggests that the treasure is connected to the descendants of Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene, who fled to France and established the Merovingian dynasty. The book has been met with much skepticism and controversy, but was the source of Dan Brown's best-selling novels and films The Da Vinci Code, or perhaps the signs discovered in the 19th century by Saunier, point to a place a little further away. The legend of the treasure at rennes le chateau has also been linked to the Oak Island treasure, off the coast of Nova Scotia in an area also known as Acadia. In his book The Lost Treasure of the Knights Templar, Solving the Oak Island Mystery, author Stephen Sorrer argues that the French Templars who managed to escape persecution from the Pope Clement V in April 1314, fled to Scotland where they hid the vast Templar treasure for over 100 years, eventually at the ornate Rosslyn Chapel in Scotland created in the 1400s by William St. Clair. The chapel had a vast underground basement where some speculate an army or vast treasure could be hidden. The area, the castle, and the church have a rich history tied to the Freemasons. In fact Masons were invited five years before the official construction of the chapel began. What were they doing during all that time? The word Freemason derives from the French word, frère, meaning brother, and, marsan, meaning builder. Brother builder. Stephen Sorrow argues these Templars then moved the treasures to Oak Island in Mahone Bay in Nova Scotia, New Scotland, over various trips spanning years. Mahone Bay is named after the French low-lying corsair ships known as Mahons, favored by pirates, that frequented the area, which Sorrow circuitously connects back to France, to Notre Dame Cathedral, which is itself connected to Mary Magdalene. The Oak Island treasure has been the subject of numerous expeditions and treasure hunts, but the treasure's secret remains unsolved to this day. But we will save that for another video. Despite the many theories and speculations surrounding the rennes le chateau treasure, it remains a puzzle wrapped inside an enigma. Why did the Holy Blood Holy Grail authors write the book connecting many valid data points? Was it merely a wild fiction to sell copies of a book? Or did they know something more? What unwritten history connects outward from this region and its esoteric legacy? The stories continue to fascinate people from all over the world. 
Who knows what secrets and treasures may still be waiting to be discovered in this mysterious village and all those places to which it appears to connect. Or perhaps all of these indicators, are nothing more than a projection of our fantasies. Maybe the truth lies somewhere in between. Perhaps, by their very design, we are meant to never know. The Church of Mary Magdalene in Renle Chateau remains a popular tourist destination with tens of thousands of visitors annually. Thanks for watching. We hope this video sparked some interesting new ideas for you to explore. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more intriguing stories from history. Don't forget to watch other installments from our SOS series on historical enigmas. See you next time.